Hello, and welcome to the AlphaCam 2018 R2 What's New videos. This video covers the improvements in nesting and additional technologies. Let's get started. You'll see that we have worked in order to give you a better graphical user interface and a better user experience. Highlighting right now, we have the ability to show you previews of what the sheets are going to look like. You'll have the ability to see clearly the progress based on the total computation time, fill ratio, and you'll be able to go back and forth through the different graphical updates. You will also have the ability to stop the optimization at this particular level. Now that doesn't mean you quit. It simply means that you accept whatever optimization level you see here and you're ready to get your results. You will also be able to simply stop the entire process and completely negate the nesting by hitting a board. You will also be able to get significantly better yields due to our new and enhanced Vero nesting algorithm. You'll be able to use best utilization or picked order. Best utilization is an absolutely fantastic option that will allow you to feed the software multiple different sheet sizes and let the software then figure out or suggest what is the best combination of sizes to give you the best possible yield for a given job. Finally, as I mentioned briefly before, now we have total computation time. This is a fantastic add-on because it allows you to put a hard stop as to when you want the computation time to stop for the entire job, giving you control over how much time you want the computer thinking or finding a solution for your nest. This is a pro tip. If you actually leave it to zero, then you will indefinitely continue to calculate. And then it would be your responsibility to stop the algorithm once you find whatever results are acceptable to you. We've also enhanced and created a new piece of software called the Material Selector. This is a, a simple and productive way to select your sheets. You will be able to trigger this by selecting the Select Sheets from the Database option when you're creating your nesting. Why did we do this? Because it enhances the user experience and because it gives you clear feedback on the materials that are available to you before you begin the optimization session. The screen looks like this now, where you can clearly see you'll be able to select multiple different sizes of a given material. You will also be able to select the priorities in which you want those materials nested if you're using picked order. Finally, we have bridge nesting. We have significantly enhanced and refined the bridge nesting algorithm to give you better control, better intelligence. And now you have a dedicated configuration screen where you can define which parameters do you want to set up in the bridge nesting. For example, you'll be able to now bridge not just the deepest perimeter cutting paths, but multiple of, of them. The key takeaway here is you will be able to bridge nest onion skinning passes. So now not just per your, your through perimeter cutting paths are going to be able to save you time by minimizing rapids, but additional passes such as onion skin. You will also be able to control the maximum length of the bridge. This is so that if you do have a, a long distance between one part and the next, you don't actually create a bridge that is 600 or 900 millimeters long or 24 or 36 inches. Demo. So now I'm back in AlphaCam and I'm going to begin the session by loading an existing nest list. This nest list was created previously and it's simple cabinet parts and they have been previously manufactured in AlphaCam. Now I'm going to highlight some of the additional functionality. When I right click and hit nest, or alternatively I can hit the nest button down here. 
you'll have this new enhanced window where I can select a new Vero nesting algorithm and I'm going to be selecting the sheets from the database. This triggers the material selector that we spoke of before that will allow me to select which material I want to consider for my optimization. And as I mentioned before, I'll be able to select one of them or I'll be able to select none of them. I can select offcuts. And this right here will allow me to select the priority for those offcuts. Right now, I'm not interested in using um, offcuts, so I'm just going to use that particular material. When I say OK, you'll notice that the sheet is automatically drawn for you. It is fetched from the database and drawn on the screen. You'll be able now to select your different nesting parameters. We have the ability to pack to left, right, uh, top left, top right. If you're wondering what happened to the top, bottom, left, and right options, we have separated them now into the ability to have an offcut preference, whether it's a vertical or a horizontal offcut. I'm going to go ahead and select best utilization, total computation time, and as I mentioned before, we have the bridge nesting configuration options. I am not going to bridge only the deepest perimeter path, but multiple paths. So this should also bridge the small pieces. Also, as mentioned before, now you have the ability to look at basically previews of what the sheets are going to look like. You notice that they change over time, which is why it is recommended that you don't put a very, very small time. You can see that we have the different the different layouts over here. Now, as I said before, you could have put a, a, a great amount of time. If you're done, you can simply hit stop and you will be given the results up to that point. Well, there it is. These are some of the nesting enhancements in 2018 R2. Um, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the algorithm and the new functionality. We have experienced results up to 20% better in certain cases. So thank you very much and see you in the next video.